Good morning. This is the update for day five. So yesterday, um, I felt actually pretty energetic in the morning. Um, I decided to put really some effort in my food. Up to now, I've just been making some vegetable soups and salads, but just kind of easy. And I made for lunch. I made. Um, cauliflower, raw cauliflower, and I just mashed it into little pieces, like couscous, you know, with little, little tiny pieces, and I put tomato in there, and some salted sea salt, and some spices like turmeric, and pepper, red cajun pepper, and I mixed it, and then put it in the oven. Before I put it in the oven I took out some scripts because raw it tastes as a really good. And I had the other half and I was put in the oven for like 10 minutes and I was so hungry that I ate, took it out again. I ate half of it and in the evening I put a few slices of tofu on it with some salt and put it in the oven a bit longer. Um, I did raw the cauliflower is like really chewy, crispy. And then when you put it in the oven a bit longer, it becomes more soft. It tastes also more soft. It's kind of different, but it's really, really good. So yeah, I can recommend that dish. And the tofu in the evening also makes me feel very full. Uh, it's a good source of proteins also. The only thing is that uh, it does contain quite a bit of nutrients. So um, yeah, cauliflower also. Well, not that much, but for a vegetable. It's quite heavy, so calories count up quickly if you only can eat 500 on a day. So I could eat less, it felt, but still, um, I got very full. Um, I think I had a bit of a little bit less protein than I would want to eat. I think about 40, 45 grams instead of 50. And I don't know if that's the COVID today. I have very sore muscles. Also, a friend um, did something to my back last night. He just pushed uh, a few sore places. So maybe it's a response to that. I don't know. But I do have sore muscles. So for today, I'll be very careful to uh, um, ingest at least 50 grams of protein, but maybe a little bit more. I might just make another protein shake. Mm -hmm. After the one I already had for breakfast. So um, yesterday I felt quite energetic through the day. Um, went to the horses on my bike, which is a six-kilometer uh, tour to do three back, three to get there, three back. Um, went pretty okay. Um, later in the day I felt a bit more tired, but still pretty okay. And then after dinner, around 8 in the evening, I just kind of collapsed. I got really tired. So, uh, around 9, I just decided to take a bath. Uh, for this diet, it's recommended to take a, a bath or a food bath with Celtic sea salt at least once a week. Uh, that would help your body to um, let go of toxic uh, or toxins. So I decided to have a bath, so I took the bath, very hot, long bath, I got really dizzy, so every night and I decided to sit straight up in the bath to get some cool air on my body. I think I was in the bath for about 40 minutes or something, took my time, mm, had a cold shower afterwards to get rid of the soap, mm, my skin was a bit like not smooth, but it was smooth, but um, there was a lot of resistance on the skin, um, like the contrary of when you put oil on it. But this morning I felt still feel my skin is really soft. And up till now I didn't lose weight yet, uh, I actually gained weight. Uh, looking in the mirror I could see that my belly was a bit swollen, so it feels like uh, my body was um, keeping water, retaining water. Like the same thing that sometimes happens with the menstrual cycle. You kind of blow it up during or before the period because your body retains the water. So that happened and then um, 
this morning suddenly there was two kilos less than yesterday so I guess my body is letting go of the excess water right now so now I um, half a kilo less I weigh half a kilo less than when I started it's amazing so I'm very curious where we'll go I do feel quite wobbly I brought the kids to school this morning on a bike which is also three kilometers and three back um, before breakfast, because usually it's such a rush in the morning that I don't have time for breakfast. Um, but then I felt very wobbly, so <laughs> I quickly made my shake with the proteins and the nutritional supplements uh, that are part of this this diet. And um, I had some mint, some fresh mint leaves in there, and today I put a scoop of cocoa in there. You know, you can have these cocoa protein shakes, but I have one without taste so sometimes I add something to it so now you can buy cocoa chocolate cacao it's not cocoa cacao chocolate protein shakes but I I just added the uh, cocoa cacao <laughs> myself so then I have my homemade chocolate nutrient uh, protein shake so I just had that and it's like my body says oh yeah 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 thank you <laughs> It feels much better now. So yeah, let's go. My skin is still, uh, yeah, you can't really see. There's still the, it's not gone yet, but there's no new stuff coming. Uh, it's healing. It, it's also a, men, a cycle thing, a menstrual cycle thing. Like before my menstruation, I get a lot more um, pimples and redness. And I had a menstruation just before I started this a week ago. And <laughs> so it's also usual that it's healing, but uh, yeah, I'm happy about this. So that's my update for now. I'll speak to you again tomorrow. Have a great day. Mm.